Hey church, happy Monday. Uh, you know, we hope you had a great weekend. My name is Michael. I'm the youth pastor here at Pathways, and I'm so excited because I get to hang out with you guys this week for our daily dose. You know, this week we're going to be jumping into Acts 2 and uh, a section of scripture that describes Pentecost. Now, Pentecost is when God sent the Holy Spirit to empower the followers of the early church. Verse 4 says this, uh, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues that the Spirit enabled them. You probably have heard this all before, but the reality is that the question of who the Holy Spirit is is, is tough, and it's, it's a tough question for most people. You know, who's your, who's your best friend? You know, my best friend is my wife. You know, she's somebody that uh, never leaves my side and somebody who, who sharpens me as a person and as a father and, and as a husband. You know, I can always count on my wife to share truth with me even when it's hard. See, this is a beautiful picture of what the Holy Spirit is to us. He is a person. John 16, 33 is a great section for you to go to, to to find that. But he seeks to be your best friend and your advocate, someone who challenges you. Right? If I could dumb down the, the role of what the Holy Spirit looks like, it looks like this. It's conviction and comfort based on truth. See, the Holy Spirit's role in your life is to comfort you with the truth of God's word, but also to convict you of the areas in your life that needs to change in the goal that your life will look more like Jesus and that the fruits of the spirits that we find in Galatians 5, and 23 will happen in your life. Two questions for you today. Do you have the Holy Spirit working in you? And are you allowing the Holy Spirit to, to have space in your life to change what needs to be changed? And we'll catch you tomorrow on The Daily Dose.